Hey guys, what's up? This is Frank Cava, and not only am I on the leadership team at the Collective Genius, but I'm a real estate operator in Richmond, Virginia. I have a staff of nearly 40 people. We own and operate more than 300 doors. We do almost 300 deals every single year. What you're gonna see in these videos is me out and about doing what I do day over day inside of my real estate business. And if you join the Collective Genius, you're gonna be able to interact with people just like me who are out there every single day running successful real estate businesses. So, enjoy the video and I hope to meet you soon. So, if you really wanna know what's my motivation for doing all of this stuff, putting these videos out there, talking to you, giving you candid inside access into my business, it's because most people who talk about real estate investing are full of shit. We're standing at 423 North Davis Avenue. We're a block off of Monument Avenue, the heart of Richmond, one of the nicer neighborhoods around. This is a house we bought for $510,000 off the MLS. It was sitting. We were finished with it, literally painting it. The mulch and the landscaping was in. And somehow we had a fire. Like somehow. Like there was an arcing of an old line that was in an attic. We've had inspectors from the city, we've had inspectors from the fire company, the fire department, the insurance company, everybody. Basically, they just summarize this as happens. It's an 80 year old house, something arced, something caught fire, poof. This thing that was supposed to go on the market and be sold and would have sold in a couple of days in an incredibly hot market turned into a massive pain in the ass. Massive. So, how do you make sure it doesn't turn into more of a pain in the ass? The insurance, that's it. We didn't do anything wrong, it just happened. And thankfully nobody was hurt, everybody got out. The day the fire happened, literally there was like a chimney of smoke coming through the roof. Someone came and knocked on the door and told the painters who were in the basement and they went running out. The fire department doesn't come in with velvet gloves, they come in with axes and hoses. And it's really cool if you're two, like my son, to watch the fire trucks and all the water. But as the investor who owns it, it absolutely sucks because the place gets destroyed. There's water damage, there's smoke damage. While I'm standing here, there's still water. The fire was six weeks ago. It still smells like smoke. Like then we gotta deal with all that and we gotta sell it on the back end. It's a massive pain in the ass. So what's the moral of the story? This is not an easy business. It's very hard. You need to do the right things, follow the right steps, you follow the right process. That's why we're putting these videos out. In addition to that, if you do everything right, you can still lose. So you must be insured. Let's talk a little bit about insurance. I'm not a huge fan, it's a lot of money. I've been dropped by like three insurance companies. They just don't like the asset basket. You know, we filed a $30,000 claim, they dropped us, whatever. It's, it's a necessary evil. Publicly traded companies like the one I used to work for are what's called self-insured. They just don't pay an insurance company. If a house burns to the ground, they deal with it. That's kind of how it works. We could be out hundreds of thousands of dollars if we didn't have insurance, hundreds of thousands. That'll break most businesses. So if you don't have proper insurance, it can break you. So be properly insured, do your due diligence, do it the right way, get an insurance agent in town who understands what you do in your asset basket, who sits down with you, treats you like a human being, who makes sure that you are properly insured, you have proper collateralization, you have proper things against different entities. Insurance is really important. It's a big deal. So. That's it. I wish this was a more uplifting video. I wish we could show you beautiful afters. Instead, we get to show you crappy befores, crappy afters, and then we get to do it all over again at some point once we settle this with the insurance company. That's the moral of the story. Do everything right, and make sure you have insurance, and make sure you're insured for the right amounts. All right, that's it. Hope this helped. If you like what you've heard from me and from others, please click here, and then someone from our team will be back in touch with you, and I hope to see you soon in an upcoming Collective Genius meeting.